Hi, Miss Tiffany. Hello. Okay, so let's start with our question. Would you still be a teacher if you become a millionaire and why? I think that I would try to get out of the classroom and go see the world, but eventually I would become bored and have to come back to the classroom. So yes, I would still be a teacher. It may take a few years off, but I'd still teach. When you were a kid, what did your teacher do that made you dislike and what do you choose to do? The opposite or not? Um, when I was in middle school, I had a history teacher. Mm -hmm. And every time she'd lecture, she'd look up to the ceiling and she wouldn't look at her class. She would look up to her ceiling, so she'd be looking at me. And she'd be looking at the ceiling, talking. And I, I'd always want to ask her, who are you looking at? And so I didn't like that she never had eye contact. And no, I, I don't choose to not look my students in the eye. And I, uh, I hope if I look at the ceiling that a student would be like, Miss Tiffany, what are you looking at? Because I did not like it. it was silly. Yeah, right. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. OK, so next question is, what is your favorite subject when you were young? What was my favorite subject? When I was really young, I really liked art. I really liked to draw. I wasn't very good at it, but I, I enjoyed to draw. And as I grew up and in high school, I had a really good teacher, and that's when I started to love math. And that's, I would go home, and I would be so excited to do my math homework, because I always liked, then every problem had an answer, and so I was in control. I was always trying to get the math answer, because I knew there was a right answer and there was a wrong answer. So having that challenge to find the right answer, that didn't develop though until about high school. What did you remember when you studied like kindergarten? That was a really long time ago. Um, my teacher had really spiky short hair. It was a female teacher and she had really short hair. It was like blonde and spiky. And I think the reason why I remember that is because we had a class hedgehog. So like a class pet, and it was a hedgehog. And so her hair always reminded me of the hedgehog. Um, then the third thing would be when we had to, we had to prove to her we could count to 100. There's a, a gal in my class, her name was Haley Smith, and she did her, her test, and she said one, two, skip a few, 99, 100 instead of counting from one to 100. She told the whole class and we were all like, oh, you schooled her. Did you get like full score? Oh, I didn't do it, it was someone else. Oh. I counted one to 100. One, two, three, four. <laughs> but this gal, this student, this friend of mine, she said, one, two, skip a few, 99, 100. Okay. I don't know what she got, I don't know what her score was though. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. Yeah.